What's up fellow Clashers from all around, or if it's your first time here, thank you for stopping by and watching this video. My name's Infamous9, and today I bring you guys the 6th episode of 3 Star Specialist. Really liking the little new intro, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick with it. But I've been behind on this series by exactly 1 or 2 wars, something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload as soon as I can to basically keep up with this series, and give myself some more room for recording and editing. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this time to tell you guys, thank you much for your support, I really do appreciate it. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this episode. So as of now, we are definitely in a pretty competitive war. As a matter of fact, the enemy has stronger bases and stronger heroes. But the thing is that they suck, which is why we're winning. Uh, for example, like they don't know how to funnel in the troops properly. And because of that, the raids go all over the place and end up going bad. Showing you guys how many 3 stars we have so far. 8 3 stars, and hopefully we can keep it going with this next raider that, that I'm about to do. And I'm going to go ahead and take my rare number, number 8. And wish me luck you guys because this base is pretty tough. A max Town Hall 9 with the exception of his heroes, but even then they're not that far from being maxed. And he does have higher level heroes than, my, than me. And his base is obviously stronger, but I'm going to go ahead and ask my clan for some luck because I am going to need it. The most competitive base I've ever faced. And basically, hopefully, all my experience can get me through this and can get me those 3 stars. But anyways, looking at where I want to attack from. Bottom left right here and top left as well. Uh, with two golems of course gonna go ahead and spawn my queen right behind this gold mine right here and from there gonna go ahead and spawn my wizards like so to clear up all these structures from this barrack to this barrack after that gonna go ahead and drop a jump spell right here uh, after I zoom in to open up the entrance and the entrance towards the core and possibly take out the air defense there but once I'm here in this little section I'm gonna go ahead and attract the enemy queen and the enemy clan castle troops all at once so it's gonna get pretty hectic to help out my golems, I'm going to go ahead and drop a poison spell right here, damaging the queen and killing as many clan castle troops as I can. <laughs> uh, getting a little bit nervous. Um, but after that, hopefully my golems can work their way towards the center. And then I'm going to spawn my last golem in the middle. Like so. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and spawn uh, my king and my valkyries to basically kill the enemy uh, queen and take out their air defense. And after that, hopefully they can work their way towards the core. And once they're in the core, once all my troops work their way towards the core, and hopefully they do, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a uh, rage spell right here and a healing spell right here. Go to spell placement as you guys will see, I'll talk about that later. I'm gonna go ahead and drop my second jump spell right here uh, to open up this grid, this grid, this grid to take out both of these air defenses or try to because I'm gonna spawn some balloons right here by this wizard tower and perhaps up top by this cannon or this archer tower. Not both, but one of those. We'll see which one. And from there, because I want to keep my balloons up, I want to make sure I take out the last air defense up top to the left. So today I'm going to go ahead and spawn some hogs right here to take out this archer tower, but only after she's targeted some troops in the core or towards the left. And from there, hopefully they can work their way towards that air defense, because I'm going to try to keep them up, basically. But um, like I was saying, you guys, bow placement is going to be the difference between 2 and 3 stars in this raid, because this guy is pretty tough. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn my goblins up here uh, just to help out clear some structures. But like I was saying, you guys, spell placement is gonna be the difference. And hopefully, if everything goes according to plan, um, I suppose can help me out, get, make him use him to the best of their ability. Like this second jump spell, for example, giving me access to all these grids right here. So, anyways, that's enough talking, you guys. On screen now: Go Valk, two golems, eleven Valkyries, two hogs, ten wizards, four balloons, two goblins. Uh, one golem in a clan castle, one healing, one rage, and two jump spells, one poison, and of course my beautiful heroes. You know what you guys, pretty pretty nervous, but let's go ahead and see what we can do, and hopefully we can get through this with my experience. <sighs> so, um, okay, according to plan, two golems right here. Gonna go ahead and spawn my, my wizards first, yeah, and then my queen. Okay, zooming in now, this jump spell has to be good. Come on. And, boom, nice jump spell, dropping on my last golem now. It looks like they're working their way towards the core, towards that air defense right there. They're attracting the queen and the clan castle troops. Gonna go ahead and drop my poison spell. Come on, we have to take out those troops right now. And as well as the queen. Gonna go ahead and spawn my king and my Valkyries now to help on my queen. Come on, air defense is about to go down. Come on, queen, take out those, that dragon right there. Come on, peace out, enemy queen. Alright, now that they're in the core, gonna go ahead and drop my rage spell and my healing. That dragon is still up. Okay, good shit, queen. Come on, Valkyries, go ahead. God damn, they, look at them doing destruction. Shit, I love them. Gonna go ahead and drop my second jump spell right now. Come on, take the grids. Okay, th that archer tower is targeting the golem, so I'm gonna go ahead and spawn my hogs in a little bit. 
My king's bringing out the bottom left air defense. Gonna go ahead and spawn my hogs now. Come on, left air defense, bottom left air defense down. Uh, the right one's about to go down because of the Valkyries. Good shit. Okay, so my king's being targeted by that Tesla. Gonna go ahead and spawn one right now. A balloon right now. Come on, bring it down, balloon. Just one. One more hit. Come on, king, stay up, please. Oh, yes, good shit. Okay, gonna go ahead and trigger my king's ability now. Two balloons here, one balloon here to help him out. And, um... They're gonna bring it up. They're gonna bring down those defensive structures on the bottom, the balloons. Uh, looks like the golems are taking up some heat now. Hopefully they can stay up. And the balloons are gonna bring down that mortar. Good shit. And after that, hopefully they can work their way towards that wizard tower. My queen is off towards the left. She needs to get up there fast now. No oh, one air my shit, you guys. One balloon left. <laughs> Only one. And that golem's about to explode. Damn, peace out to that golem. Now we have golemites, and hopefully we can bring down that balloon real quick. Uh, that mortar down. Uh, King's all the way in the bottom, goddamn man, he needs to work his way up. Bring it down before you go down. Good <laughs> shit, balloon. Alright, Golemites are about to go down, it's about to be your, your time, Queen. You're gonna have to shine right now, baby, come on, I believe in you. Alright, Queen. That wizard tower, that cannon next, come on, Queen. Good shit, Queen, now that cannon. No, what are you doing? <laughs> she's hitting the high hip on structure, you guys. You're gonna have to save her ability towards that. When she's about to die. Not yet. Not yet. Now. Oh shit, pretty close you guys. <laughs> now I'm gonna hope that that Archer Tower targets either the Valkyries or my king right now. And and it looks like she did you guys. Alright you guys, that's it. Gonna be a three stars. Hopefully uh, we have enough time. Yeah, it looks like we do. But well executed go about. Pretty nerve wracking. I really close. Look how many troops I have left. So uh telling you guys the difference was <laughs> the spell placement and of course the timing of when I dropped my troops. But uh pretty happy. I managed to pull it off. We actually did it, you guys. And it's going to go down on the record for the most competitive town I've ever taken down. But anyways, go ahead and go back to the clan chat and see what the clan mates have to say right now. So, heading back to base. And let's see what they have to say. So, Beast says, great job, Infamous. That was amazing. Thank you, bro. Uh, pretty tough one, not going to lie. But this episode, going to go ahead and do something different. Going to go ahead and show two attacks. Two attacks because both of them stood out to me. And basically, I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you guys the importance of spell placement through these raids. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the first attack I'm gonna show you. It's gonna be um, from Fat Man. You guys have seen him in my previous episode. Really good attack for you guys. Uh, took out the enemy base just above the one I took out. And look at this base. Pretty competitive one. And on top of that, the thing that makes it even worse is that it's an anti 3 star base, or at least that's what the enemy thinks. But Fat Man's going in with a Gohog. A uh, pretty powerful strategy of Town Hall 9, like I've said before. Basically, his first wave, the first step is always to take out the enemy queen and the clan castle troops. Very important step, you guys. And after that, look, it looks pretty hectic right there. A lot of damage going uh, in the center. But after that, he spawns his hogs towards the left of his first wave. But it's not even that far. That's pretty important, you guys. You guys have to make sure that your golems are still taking up some heat. So don't spawn your hogs too far. Look at this spell placement. Nice first healing. Uh, Basically in the center of all those defensive structures. The second healing he dropped it because his hogs triggered a giant bomb. He wants to keep him up. But look at this last one as well. All those defensive structures there. He's going to go ahead and drop it right dead center. And basically keeping his hogs up for the entire time. And because of that, he got the 3 stars. Because this is a max town 9, you guys. I think his heroes were like 3 levels below uh, max. But even them, really tough town 9. And especially with this 1MP anti 3 star base. But you guys can see... Pretty good uh, raid fan man, 3 stars, so props on that man, really proud of that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, the next attack that comes from Adam, uh, Town Hall 8.5, that's what he likes to think of himself. Pretty good attacker as well, not going to lie. And he, he uses a random strategy, or at least a weird one that I've never seen before, he likes to call it Govaho. Uh, I'm not sure if he came up with it or something like that, but from what I've seen, pretty effective strategy you guys. It's a mixture of Valkyries, Hogs and Balloons. And the first wave, as always, take out the clan castle troops, and he only carries one golem, so pretty risky. Uh, gonna need those wizards and queen to take out those balloons and dragons. So, from what it seems like, he's trying to get his bone towards those defensive structures right above it. Still hasn't brought down all the clan castle troops, so gonna wait a little longer. Finally, the dragon goes down, gonna go ahead and open up the wall now, and spawn a few more wizards to bring down this balloon. Uh, pretty soon, about to go down. And after that, spawns his Valkyries and his King, drops his first healing spell, nice healing spell, all of his troops are in it. Gonna go ahead and drop his jump spell to get towards the core. And now look at this rage spell. Boom, nice rage spell, Adam. Used effectively, 
covering the entire core and now he spawns his hogs to take out the defensive structures that were distracted with the troops in the core and to bring down uh, perhaps one air defense and again you guys I'm only telling you guys what he's trying to do with this strategy because obviously I wasn't the one doing the raid the same thing goes with Batman's raid but I'm speaking from experience and because I know that these guys are good I do the same thing that they're doing and vice versa but anyways this is a tough one <laughs> But anyways, this is going to do it for this episode, you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And I know it was pretty long. Sorry about that. Maybe 10 to 12 minutes long. Sorry about that again. But go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet already. And as always, no need of gems to be good. Just keep practicing.